The royal wedding of Prince William, the future King of England, son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, the grandson of Her Majesty, the Queen of England, and the Duke of Edinburgh, to former Miss Kate Middleton, was watched by over two billion people around the world. It was characterized by very high moments that will make the event a veritable talking point in the media and other places for a long time to come. For instance, pundits have already begun to draw parallels between Prince William's marriage and that of his parents, a very lavish and elaborate wedding that took the world by storm exactly 30 years ago. While some believe that the royal wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana stands shoulder to shoulder in many respects, especially with the attendance of world leaders, celebrities and other known personalities, it is widely believed that, in terms of active planning of the event and the pre-event build-up in all the media, the marriage of Prince Charles to Lady Diana had a slight edge over that of Prince Williams and Catherine Middleton, who have both been given the new titles by the Queen of England. Prince William is now to be known as the Duke of Cambridge and Catherine the Duchess of Cambridge. It is quite understandable that the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana was celebrated with such pomp and pageantry. For the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, and indeed Prince Charles and Lady Diana, that was their very first experience in such matters. However, it is estimated that more people followed the wedding of Prince William and Catherine around the world, both on television, the newspapers, and the social networking media like the Twitter and Facebook and other multimedia windows. These were not in existence 30 years ago when Prince Charles and Lady Diana got married. For the Queen and her husband, the Duke, and Prince Charles, their son, and indeed the couple, the wedding should have brought them more fulfillment and joy if Princess Diana, the mother of the groom, who died in a car accident in Paris, France, on the 31st of August 1997, was around to savor the great moment. Despite all the ups and downs, the British monarchy remained solidly at the core of British life and again demonstrated that in the way the whole of Britain enthusiastically embraced the wedding of Prince William and Catherine. Indeed, the wedding generated worldwide frenzy and excitement as reports from different corners of the globe, like the United States, the Caribbean, and Australia, Germany, France, and the rest, indicated that there were street parties to celebrate the great event. The royal wedding of Prince William, which has been described in many superlatives, like weddings made in London and exported around the world, lived up to this in many respects. The large number of visitors from different parts of the world camped in different parts of London by the lawn of Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey to gain proximity advantage for viewing the big event. They cheered and danced as they waved flags demonstrating absolute joy to be part of an event of which a lot of excitement has been built for months ahead. Another aspect of the wedding that will remain a huge defining moment was the dressing by dignitaries, especially the celebrities and the couple themselves. Indeed, it was all about dressing and the British designers indeed put their best foot forward, 
This was suddenly a more enduring public relations window for individual British designers whose profiles must have become richer by this experience. In this regard, one designer, Sarah Button, stood out. She designed the bride's wedding dress that made her look sublime all the way. Fashion pundits around the world have also scored Prince William and his beautiful wife, Catherine, very highly in the way they turned out at all events. In fact, the comparison had been torn between Lady Diana, the mother of the groom, and her daughter-in-law, Catherine, in the area of their fashion sense and indeed the way of life of both of them. The verdict is that, while Lady Diana was no doubt an elegant and fabulous fashion buff, with a soft spot for the less privileged, and celebrated greatly by the media all over the world, Her Royal Highness, Prince Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, is also a bundle of beauty and elegance who is also seen as somebody with a great sense of self-compassion. Unlike most royal marriages, which are often arranged, the marriage between Prince William and Catherine took a while, one whole decade to consummate. William Arthur Philip Louis, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife? To live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony, wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Catherine Elizabeth, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him, in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my truth. And thereto I give thee my truth. The couple first met when they were both students at the University of St. Andrews in the UK. Prince Williams proposed to his loving wife in Kenya. Their engagement in October 2010 ended years of rumors, swift reconciliations and speculations over their marriage plans. The wedding of Prince Williams and Princess Catherine can easily be described as the biggest royal wedding to be celebrated in England since that involving William's parents, Prince Charles and late Princess Diana, on July 29, 1980, which sadly ended in a divorce on the 28th of August 1996. And now to the proceedings of the fairy tale high opted wedding of Prince William. Harry, the younger brother of the groom, was the best man. Amidst great expectations, with music in the background, the gorgeous bride, Catherine, was walked down 100 yards on the red carpet by her father. The marriage formalities, which included the exchange of marital vows and ring, was performed by the Archbishop of Canterbury. There was a little bit of drama when Prince William was given his wife the ring. The ring looked a bit small for the bride's finger, 
But Prince William's persistence and perseverance saw him through in that first great tax of man. Bless, O oh Lord, this ring, and grant that he who gives it and she who shall wear it may remain faithful to each other and abide in thy peace and favor and live together in love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With my body, I thee honor. With my body, I thee honor. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. And all my worldly goods with thee I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The royal wedding, which was full of glamour and appeal, happened on a day when even the elements seems to have been in absolute support of the great event. The guest prediction of a wet weather was never indeed held out to the delight of the hundreds of those who had come to felicitate with the Queen and her family. Hundreds of thousands of people had stumped London for this great expectation. About 1,900 guests were officially invited to see the event, which took place at the Westminster Abbey, Next was at the Birkenham Palace. After the event, Prince William and his wife drove round the Birkenham Palace in the royal carriage as they acknowledged chairs for millions of people from different parts of the world who've kept vigil for days to catch a good glimpse of the royal couple. In the meantime, as the euphoria of the royal wedding of Prince William dies down, it is pertinent to take away some important points which place the wedding in a distinct class of its own. Indeed, all those who want to chronicle the event for posterity will find most of these pieces of information very useful. From commemorative plates, postage stamps, key, towel, and indeed condoms, the fairy tale wedding between Prince William and Kate indeed stand out in this century. Well, packaging of the environment will but cost nothing less than £34 million. It is reported that the bride, Kate's wedding gown, cost £434,000. The flowers cost £800,000. Over a hundred copies of the official souvenir of the wedding program would have been sold. It is expected that proceeds from this and the sale of the program souvenir will go to the foundation headed by Prince Williams and his younger brother, Harry. The lunchtime reception held for about 300 close family, friends and relatives at the Buckingham Palace by the Queen was held in 19 state rooms. It was reported that Kate and her family stayed at the luxurious 8,000 per night Godwin Hotel in the Highbrow path of London a night before the wedding. It is also reported that Kate the bride had the privilege of wearing the £11,000 Welsh gold wedding ring of Prince William's mother, the late Princess Diana. The ring, which was made from gold, had been checked in the royal vault since it was originally presented to Queen Elizabeth II. An estimated £32 million was spent on security. The security paraphernalia was made up of 5,000 police officers military personnel and private bodyguards to protect guests who attended the ceremony and millions of others that attended the event from different parts of the world. The Prince William and Kate wedding will be the first royal wedding with its own Twitter. Thankfully, the royal wedding was not marred by any untoward incident like major street protests or security breaches of any kind which has been threatened by many groups ahead of the royal wedding. Over 8,500 journalists, broadcasters and media organizations from different parts of the world cover the event from London. Bisk and Walt TV and the BC Olatila show heartily congratulate the Queen of England, her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Charles and father of the groom, and the couple themselves, His Royal Highness, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, and his beautiful wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, in pulling off the wedding that have succeeded in raising the stakes for all weddings in the world in all ramifications. As we speak, 
The royal couple are off for their much desired honeymoon, and they precisely kept everyone guessing as to the appropriate place. Places being touted include Kenya, where the marriage proposal was made some years ago, the Caribbean, Australia, and indeed, the guesses are so wide.